Hi, my name is Gus. Let's talk about adding audio classification to your mobile app using a pre-trained model. Audio classification is giving a sound, finding out which event was in it. This could be, for example, finding out which bird is singing, or to differentiate alarms, or tracking whale sounds. This brings many new possibilities and use cases, like helping deaf people in case of an emergency alarm, or even monitoring forests for illegal activities. The audio domain has some additional challenges. The same way that vision-related models have some constraints regarding the size of the image that you use, for audio, we also have to pay attention to some constraints. Let's suppose we want to recognize pet sounds, something like this. What should we do? First, capture the sound to a digital form. Now, this audio has to be converted to the proper format that a machine learning model expects. Maybe we need to change the sample rate or the number of channels. Given this, a machine learning model would be able to classify the content of the audio. Another important thing is, when you look into audio information, it's not like a picture, but more like a sequence of numbers. To make things easier to understand, one technique is to look at parts of the audio or a window and get a classification for each one of them. This leads to one audio file, depending on the size, having multiple classifications per window. Deciding the size of the window you use depends on which kinds of sounds you want to analyze. Are they usually longer or shorter? This can impact on the results of the model. A dog bark is usually short, while spoken language may have longer sounds. TensorFlow Lite and the Audio Task Library can help with all those challenges. TensorFlow Lite enables your audio model to run on device and provides a complete framework to use all the resources available on the embedded devices. The Audio Task Library helps you with all the audio capture and conversion that you'd have to do by hand, and it also provides an easier API to run the model. Coming back to our example, Let's see how TensorFlow Lite and the Audio Task Library can help. TensorFlow Lite can convert the TensorFlow model and enables its execution in the phone, for example. The Audio Task Library can create the audio recorder with the correct configuration for your model. It also can convert the audio to the format that your pre-trained audio model requires. And it also gives you a simpler API to access the model. Let's see some code. Here is what you need. First, load the pre-trained model to a classifier. Then, create a buffer that's used for inference. This buffer can represent a window of data. The classifier can also create an audio recorder for you with the proper configuration. Finally, you just need to call the classify method on the buffer that was just created, and that's it. And here's an implementation of that code. This sample app listens to the phone's microphone and keep running inference every half a second, and then it shows the results in the screen. In the next code lab, you will create this app and see it in action. Let's go.